At the Conservative Party conference, Chancellor George Osborne announced a new plan of credit easing to help small and medium-sized businesses. The Conservatives very much see these SMEs as the engine of growth for the UK economy. He said the plan would help those companies that have struggled to get credit from the weak banks. I'm joined by Dr. RJ Barlow, who's Professor of Global Innovation Management here at Cass Business School. RJ, what exactly is the Chancellor proposing? And what has been the follow-up? The Chancellor is proposing a, a very simple initiative, which is determined to boost the growth of SMEs and ease the credit facilities for SMEs, a crunch which they're facing. And what he's proposing is that the banks uh, and Treasury uh, would work together to buy the, the tranches of loan from, uh, from SMEs uh, which they lend and, and would ease the credit blockages which SMEs have been faking, facing for, uh, for a while now. Uh, and the follow-up of this has, I think, has not been uh, what the Chancellor hoped for. For example, the, the QE2, which is a 75 billion injection in the economy is not directly aimed at SMEs. And I think there is a complete detachment between what the Chancellor proposed and what has been followed up. And what is the impact on SMEs likely to be in that case? Uh, SMEs are unlikely to find any money. Uh, I think they're not going to ease up any pressure on them in terms of financing. And the government, I think, needs to take immediate actions or at least uh, what they can do in order to boost the, the financing gaps. And there has been talk about this, but not followed through. And then, and how can we encourage growth in the UK's SMEs? I think we need to take actions at multiple levels. And these actions need to be taken in short term rather than medium term. For instance, in terms of financing, the government could come up with innovative ways in terms of boosting financing. There has been a talk about micro ISAs mm -hmm. uh, or enterprise schemes, uh, investment schemes, which uh, are, are tax efficient so that the SMEs, you know, friends or family could boost the lending and so there's a tax incentivization structure in place. Um, there could be improvement in lending circles. Uh, so those are the financing schemes. But if we look at the what we could do to inject uh, the growth in SMEs, we could really, I think, work at shifting the uh, rules for the UK procurement, uh, which are currently based on a pricing and, for example, value for money, uh, which would boost the business uh, and the skills in the local economy. Uh, na national insurance, uh, and there is an issue about the employer's contribution to NI's, NI, which is considered as a tax on on jobs, really, and that I think could be uh, could be taken off to release the pressure, so that actually we create jobs, boost SMEs, and help to follow it up. And I think we can also take other actions, such as uh, you know there has been a talk about uh, uh, deregulation, but there has been little follow up through, and it's been a year in the uh, in the pipeline, and we haven't seen anything. Uh, rates uh, for new businesses is another uh, initiative which uh, the, the government could really tackle. Uh, I, I was talking to a friend of mine and he was telling me that he has been offered a 12,000 pound lease, uh, but the rates on top of that are 12,000 extra, so 24 grand. So a lot of initiatives, I think, immediately which need to be taken to boost and sustainability of the UK uh, SMEs. Professor Bala, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.